Another tenant was murdered last night. Just like the first two victims, this one had his right ring finger chopped off! If you don't want to move in, I'll understand. <sighs> I have nowhere else to stay. Besides, I already knew about the first two murders when I answered your ad. Personally, I suspect this guy who lives on the third floor. He's bald and he's got a brown beard and a nose piercing. The killer must be someone who lives in the building. I mean, who else could it be? Where's the laundry room? Third floor right next to the vending machine. There's a dead body in the laundry room. I found it under a pile of sheets. Thank you, officer. I'll call you if I remember anything else. We should both stand guard tonight in case the killer tries to break in here. What is that thing? It's a custom-made battle axe similar to the kind used in the Middle Ages. If the killer tries to break in here, I'll chop his bald head right off! What makes you so sure the bald guy's the murderer? He's the only other tenant who isn't disabled or a senior citizen. And the killer's obviously someone with access to the building. Other than him and the mailman, I don't think I've seen an able-bodied person here for years. Hey, wake up! Uh, oh, did I fall asleep? Listen, someone's coming toward our apartment! <gasps> Look! We forgot to lock the door! <laughs> the mailman! I never... I never suspected him. I guess I was so used to seeing him around that he was just like part of the scenery. In a million years, it never would have occurred to me that he might be the killer. My cell phone's in my room. I'll go call the cops. They'll understand once we explain everything to him. Ha <laughs> <laughs>